Hey guys, how's it going? So we're going to start off with the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Chocolate and I'm just going to use this to quickly fill in my brows. So I always comb the hairs up and then I will start from the bottom part of my brow and just draw a straight line all the way across. And then I'll do the same thing along the top so I have a nice guide of where I want, how thick I want my brows. And then I'll just fill in the center. Zoom you in a little bit so you can get a closer look. And then in the beginning part of my brow, I just draw little flicks going upward so it kind of mimics with the hair, with the natural growth of the hair. And it looks more natural. And then I just comb it through one more time and fill in any gaps from where I feel like it needs it. There we go, we have a full brow. So we're going to use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, the remastered one. And the first shade I'm taking is Sandalwood. I'm going to use this on a JH39. These are the Jaclyn Hill brushes. So I'm just going to use this and this shade and just apply it all over my crease. once I have less product on the brush, I'm just going to go ahead and buff it upwards. After that, I'm going to take the shade Henna and I'm going to use this on a JH33 and apply this in the crease as well but I'm keeping this color a little bit lower than the first one. Next I'm going to take the shade Coco. I'm going to use this on a JH40 brush and apply this in the crease as well. This brush has a nice little point in it so it's not going to blend out the product as much and keep it a little bit more defined. I'm just adding a little bit of product at a time. Now I'm just going back in with the JH33 and I'm just blending. I don't have any additional product on this brush. Next I'm going to take the shade Trust Fund on a JH41. First I use the brush to apply this shade and then you'll see in a minute I go back in with my finger. I'm applying the shade all over my lid. I'm just going to go in with my finger and just dab, dab that shade on. It just gives us a little bit more pigment, more payoff from this color. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take the shade Nylon from MAC and use this on a JH42. I'm just going to start off from the highest point of my brow and then just blend downwards. And now I'm going back in with JH39 and just blending that upper crease out with no additional product on this brush. Okay, for gel liner, I'm using Laura Mercier gel liner in the shade black, and I am going to use a Sephora number 15 brush. There wasn't any any 
liner brush in the Jaclyn Hill brush collection so that's why I decided to use this one but I'm just gonna do a wing today and I'm gonna use that shadow guard kind of to help me create a straight wing that shadow guard and voila we have a perfect little wing and I'm just going back in with that same liner and just applying that in my waterline and I'm also tight lining this is just so that we don't see any skin underneath all nice and black okay going in with the shade Coco and the brush I'm using here is a JH 43 and I'm just gonna use this just to kind of set that liner in place and smudge it along the lower lash line And now I'm going to take the shade Henna on a JH38 and apply this right underneath Coco. This just helps create a nice smoked out lower lash line. For lashes today, I'm going to use Morphe Lash in the style Malibu. I'm just going to give my lashes a quick little curl. And I'm just going to pop them on with my fingers and then just adjust them with the tweezers. And I'm just going in with some Grandiose Mascara by Lancome. I'm just going to bring my lower lash lashes to life and apply a little bit on my upper lashes as well. Just to kind of blend them in with the, lower, with the false ones. And to highlight the inner corner of the eye, I'm using that same nylon shade. And this brush is a JH39. Okay, moving on to face. I've already done my foundation and everything. And I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And on a JH05 brush, I'm going to go ahead and start contouring. If you want to know all the products I used on my face, you can just click on the bottom bar and it'll, tell you, it'll show you everything that I used. And to contour my nose, the brush I'm using is a JH34. And I'm still using the same three shades from the uh, Kat Von D palette. I'm 
I'm just going to apply a little bit beneath my lips as well. For blush today, I'm using the shade Ambering Rose. This is by MAC. And I'm going to use this on a JH06 brush. And for highlight, I'm using the Estee Lauder highlighter in the shade Heat Wave, and the brush I'm using is a Morphe M510 brush. There is a Jaclyn Hill brush like this as well, but I just picked up this one. It's the same exact thing. After highlighting my cheekbones, I'm just going to apply a little bit on the bridge of my nose and also on the top of my lips. I'm just coating my brows with some clear brow gel just to set those in place. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And for lipstick today, I'm using the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in the shade Underage Red. Now I'm just going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and just set my entire makeup with this and just quickly fan myself off. I need to get one of those little fans just to speed up this process. But this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!